Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to run your LSPUFR with the SI support forward slash loader. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So guys, I'm doing this tutorial. Today is August 10th. This is the night before the update occurs. It's August 10th at 9 o'clock at night, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do this tutorial and do it for you guys and get it done. Um, this is going to run your LSPFR. Maybe it will. If your game, if you, if something happened that you did not back up your game version or something happened that you couldn't back up your game version, okay? So guys, click the link down there that says ASI support forward slash loader. It is going to bring you this page right here, guys. And this is ASI support for Rage Plugin Hook 0.4.1 beta. Keyword, guys. Beta. Keyword. Now, guys, this is not guaranteed to work. I'm telling you, it's not guaranteed to work. It may run your game as smooth as all get out. It may crash your game, and I'm going to prove it to you, guys. I'm going to show you how it works, okay? So, uh, they have recently updated this, guys. We are running with the version um, 0.4.1. It was updated June 4th of 2020, okay? So, if you'll look down here in the reporting bugs and crashes, it says, as the plugin is still in keyword beta, and might be unstable you may experience bugs and or crashes in that case please report the bug or crash either on github in the gta5mods.com comment section or on the art rage plugin hook discord if you're reporting a crash please also send the crash report located inside the crash reports directory in your gta5 folder so guys if you decide to do this this is not anything that me and my support team can help you out with um, you will have to do exactly as this says right here. So I encourage you all to bookmark this page in case you have to come back and report your page plug and hook login, okay? So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the most recent version right here, June 4th, 2020, and we're going to click right here and download. All right? And I hope mo for the most part, most of you um, backed up your game version. I hope you're not having to do this because this is torture, guys. This is not guaranteed to work. All right, what do you want to do with the ASI support? Guys, save it somewhere where you just know how to get to it, okay? I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Um, but you can just save it wherever you want, guys, just as long as you know how to get there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop, and I'm going to save it there, all right? So once that's done, let's close out of this and close out of these windows. And this is going to be your ASI support right here. All right, we're going to open that up. I'm going to do this for GTA 5 uh, Steam version and Epic users, okay? So open up. So Steam version users, go ahead and open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right? And then double-click on installation. All right? And then let me see here, guys, if I remember how to do this. There's a certain way you got to do this. Plugins. ASI support. Let's go back, guys. Let me check out the README real quick, and um, let me make sure I remember how to do this. It's been, a, it's been a, since last year I did this, guys. Well, a few months ago. Okay, so in order to install ASI support, you must extract the contents of the installation folder into your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Okay, so to use the plugin, you must also install Net Framework 4.6 and Rage Plugin Hook. We know this, okay? So what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to go into the installation folder, and we are going to grab every single one of these files right here, guys. Now, I'm not going to drop these because I've, I've reverted my game version, guys. If I happen to have it, then I'll use it, but if not, then you know I'm not going to, okay? Because this is my main directory right here. So grab all these files right here, guys. Grab them, drag them, and drop them into your main directory just like that. Now, when you're done, refresh your directory, okay? I'll, now, Steam users, when you run this, okay, when you run this, let me close out of that, you are going to click Rage and hold down the sh left shift key immediately, okay? You're going to hold down the left shift key. Now, it's not going to show up in my Rage box because I didn't install it. You're going to pull up this box right here, and you're going to go to Plugins. 
you're going to go to load these plugins on startup and down here guys you should see the asi support okay in this list right here you're going to check all all right then click load all plugins on startup and click save and launch all right i'm going to exit now for Epic game users, let's pull up our GTA 5 main directory. Go ahead and pull yours up. Where is mine at? Right here. All right. Same thing, guys. Go into the installation folder right here. Highlight every single one of these files. Drag them and drop them into your main directory just like that, okay? All right. Same thing with you guys. You are going to click on your Rage and hold down your left shift key, okay? Hold it down. And it will pull up. Once it does, guys, again, same thing. Go to plugins. Click load these plugins on startup. Down here, you should see the ASI support in here, okay? Go ahead and click check all. Load all plugins on startup. Click save and launch, okay? And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much how you do it. Now, if this is this is only for those who didn't back up their game version or who couldn't back up their game version okay if there was any reason why you didn't do it or any reason why you couldn't do it then that this that's what this video is for is to help you run your lspfr however guys listen to me i'm going to say this one more time this asi support is not a guarantee to work okay it's just a band-aid for script hook v and rage plugin hook okay that's all it is guys that's all it is so um that's pretty much it guys and girls i hope that this helps you uh in fact if it does or if it doesn't guys just for uh, the sake of the video and um you know just to be kind about it please slap a like on my video i would greatly appreciate it guys and subscribe to my channel if you have not already um i will have a game um i will probably have a tutorial on, on uh, how to revert your game version either before this or right after this guys I love y'all so much. Check out my YouTube brothers and sisters, guys. Also, the thumbnail that was made for this was made by my personal graphics designer. His name is GameRoll, and his link is down in the description, guys, um, for his YouTube channel as well. If you will look at my description, you will see where it says my graphics designer, and right below that, it says GameRoll. That is his YouTube channel, guys, so go check him out as well. Check out my other YouTube brothers and sisters, guys. They're all, all their links are down there, guys. Jeffrey Gamer, Cookies and Cream, Intelligent Pineapple, Beautiful Fetching Rose, Captain Horn 23, Diamond TKG, Highway Trooper, Brendan Holt Vlogs, Cinefix, and Simon the Bell Bondsman, guys. They are all down there. Check out my Google Docs as well, guys. All your LSPFR needs are in there. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.